In this week's edition of the Business Review, we feature a small business that's aiming to fill a gap on the dating scene. Here's Cody and Barrett. Luxury bouquets and picnic services, images we see in the movies. But it was something Seda Denisa believed could be a reality. While in her second year at university, she observed a pattern. I really hated to see men or anybody going on dates empty-handed with them two long hands. And I think that roses or flowers would just enhance the dating scene. I'm a hopeless romantic as well, so I think that that would definitely add some pizzazz, some spice to the dating scene or any special occasions. You know, everybody likes to have flowers, everybody likes to feel appreciated. And being a hopeless romantic herself, date night began in 2018 with the aim of enhancing the dating experience. With savings from previous small business ventures, date night began with investments in small bouquets. The business had minor setbacks with delivery of roses. However, her parents stepped in to offer assistance. Now the business is family run. In 2020, date night observed another thing lacking. I saw the dating scene or, you know, a person just going out to restaurants. It was pretty boring. We don't have much to do here. So I said, you know, having a picnic would be really nice. It's different at the time. It was different, you know, girls or anybody can just dress up, outdoor feeling. You know, you dress up Sunday best or anything like that. You're just out enjoying yourself. You know, you have a little sip and paint or you have a little game to play. Just something new and different to spice up that scene. Over time, roses from date night became more popular among clients. I know many persons would think that it's only women alone get roses and so forth. But being in business from 2018 till now, you'd be surprised that at the number of women who send men roses. It probably won't be a big book here or something, but something to show appreciation. Very simple, paired along with something else that the gentleman would like. Since its establishment, profits have improved by 80%, which she credits to consistent marketing on social media. About 80 to 90% of her profits comes from roses. Looking forward, Date Night is aiming for bigger things. To be the benchmark flower house of Jamaica, with God's will and so forth. But future business plans are definitely underway. It's definitely something to look forward to. My lovers, my date night family would love what I'm planning for next year. It's something new, something very innovative, first in the island. So I'm just hoping for the support, praying for the support, and that everything will go well. With the Business Review, I'm Cody Ann Barrett.